Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 4, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can access our signal service, our full technical analysis, and also our live trading. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to these very highs. So we have made a double top here and whether or not we managed to break above here, well, that is still to be seen because we are now, we had a major, quite a big pullback in late in the session. And we basically need to be trading above this level here in order to confirm that we are going to go higher. Other than that, we are going to turn around here and head back towards the 50 move average or in these uh, below here at 13.10. So something can have, basically can happen here, and that is that the US dollar starts to appreciate. It has been depreciating now for uh, actually the last two weeks, and uh, that of course has had upward pressure for this currency pair. Uh, but this pullback here, could be a warning of what is about to come. So the last time we went to this uh, this uh, price level here, we basically fell roughly around uh, around 5.5 percent within only two weeks. So that is what happened last time we visited this price price uh, this level here. So we'll see what basically happens. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that. Um, and that the RSI is on the edge of being overbought. The MACD is basically on the signal line. The CCI is still bullish and the stochastic is still bullish, but we have basically pierced the top of the Bollinger Band. And as you can see, last time we basically did that, we basically fell all the way down towards the 20 uh, moving average, and that's a roughly 13, 40, 13, 30. And that is roughly around, uh, around 1% from from where we are at this point. So we could have a pullback towards the 20 moving average or 20 exponential moving average, and then try and test this again. Or we could see something similar to this. I think that we have to see that this um, candlestick here has become has to become um, like more like an inverted hammer, something similar to that. So we're not seeing that. So we may just see a pullback towards the 20 exponential, and then we have another go at these highs and then break. Uh, we are barely overstretched at this point, so we a pullback is expected at this point. So we'll see what happens. Um, either way, it is just too difficult to basically to um, to risky. I mean, to buy it here, a pullback is basically what you need in order to enter this market. So let's see the U.S. dollar and the yen. And we have fallen all the way down to these lows here. And these were also, this is an area that we have been testing in, uh, tested in the past. So what is going to happen here is most likely that we are going to visit back, uh, visit this lower trend line again. So we are in a uh, downward channel and we have been here all, all the way since March. So every single time we get to the upper channel, we can basically sell. Every time we get to the lower channel, we can start buying. At this point, we are basically right in the middle of things. So it is just a question of just waiting until we get to the top or get to the to the bottom. Uh, in the other case, just stay away from this because it can go either way. We can rally to the towards the 50 minute average tomorrow, uh, or we can break down towards the channel and at this point, um, I am favoring a breakdown towards the channel uh, because there's a lot of room to the downside. These technical indicators are all turning around. MACD, CCI, and the uh, um, stochastic are turning around. And there is also room to the lower uh, Bollinger Band here. So we may go and retest these lows um, tomorrow session. And if that breaks, then that opens the door to the lower part of this channel, which would be roughly two uh, point, um, 102. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied all the way up towards 
this area here, which is at 1217, and then we gave some of those gains back. We are significantly overbought at this point. We were at 81 uh, on the RSI. If you look at the technical indicators, they are still fairly bullish, uh, especially the MACD is very bullish. And um, that means that we, well, we could actually continue higher. But I think that this is going to be a problem with RSI. Um, I would favor a pullback towards the previous highs before basically going higher. Uh, that will also give us room in our, we'll catch up with the 20 exponential. It will travel something here and then we'll go something down there and then continue up. So that's probably what I expect is going to happen here. Uh, maybe not in tomorrow's session, probably. We'll have a little bit of pullback towards the uh, 12, uh, 1201, um, but that is to be seen. Um, to buy it here, that is just way too risky. We actually need a pullback towards this uh, price level in order to go higher. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to uh, the level up 0 0.7449. Uh, and at this point, there is you should expect a pullback because the RSI is at 87.5. It is significantly overbought. It has been an enormous rally for the Aussie US dollar. We have rallied all the way from this level here to that level, and that's around 6.5% 6 in the last month. So the beginning of November until December, uh, beginning of December, we rallied 6.5%. That is an enormous rally for this currency pair. At this point, we can man, uh, can um, quite safely say that 0 0.7411 uh, will be major support because that was the previous highs here. So a pullback, we'll see support already here. So we won't go that far. We also have the 20 exponential, which has been very supported for a very long time. So we'll probably stay within this range for some time when these moving averages catches up, catches up, then we'll probably have a rally from there and to the uh, to higher levels. Technical indicators for this are very bullish still, even though RSI is still very bullish at this can show we momentum to the upside. So it's to be seen what happens here, but pullback is needed in order to enter this market for a buy. So US dollar cat, we have broken this line, and as you can see, as I said yesterday, we would um, break down significantly if this level broke, and it has broken, and then therefore we can just get rid of it. Because at this point, I do believe that we are going to see a pullback towards the 20 uh, exponential moving average. It will move something similar to this, and then we'll have a rally up towards the 20 exponential before going lower. The reason why I say that is because we are at the moment significantly oversold. So all of these currency pairs here are either overbought or oversold. So we are going to see a correction in this um, in these currency pairs because you just can't go. Um, they can't become so overbought or oversold without having a correction at some point. You can also see on the Bollinger Band, we are basically way um, across the lower Bollinger Band. So something is major is going to change in this market. Um, if it's going to be tomorrow or Monday, it will happen quite soon. But at this point, these technical indicators are extremely bearish at this point. So we may go significantly lower and then break up um, for the highs. But... What I think is going to happen in the long run is that we are going to catch up with this uh, previous trend line here, and then we'll basically see whether or not we're going to change direction when we get there. But at this point, it is not a good idea to start selling here because we are significantly oversold. A pullback towards the 20 exponential is your um, is your opportunity in order to enter this market for a sell. So. Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.